Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a Pantheon 2 cheese. The charms are Weaver Song, Quick Focus, Star Wars Shell, Grubberfly's Elegy, and Grub Song. The first boss is Zero, who you're simply going to want to jump and attack with. Try to dodge his swords, but if you can't dodge his swords, just get hit and heal. As you can see from this demonstration here, I can just sit in a corner and get hit and just continuously heal because of this loadout. It gives you enough invincibility frames and soul to always get heal and a little extra iframes that you can use for a hit. The next boss is the Crystal Guardian, who you're just going to want to attack with, and you can take a bit of hits here. During the first phase of the fight, just jump over the lasers and get hits. Then when the lasers start to rain from the ceiling, I like to do a Descending Dark because it gives lots of damage and invincibility frames. Next up we have Soul Master. Here, just jump and get hits and abyss shrieks every chance you can, as well as having a plan for each attack and how to dodge it. Next up, we have all blubbles who you're just going to want to spam abyss shriek on and target one of them because the other one heals when the first one dies. Next up is the mantis lords, which you're going to want to try to get a lot of soul on so that during the switch from phase one to phase two, you can get some heals in. You can also get one heal here on this spinning disc attack. During this phase 1-2 transition, you can get some heals, and then during phase 2, you could get put in a long heal spiral. However, try to avoid that and keep your Groverfly's Elegy for extended range on your nail. For the Hot Spring and Bench Room, heal up, don't change your charm build. Now we're on to Marmu. Try to keep him in the vertical or horizontal axis when he's coming at you so that he does not hit you because the knight has no diagonal attack. The next boss is Nosk. For this boss, it's really easy to just get some hits in and heal tank. However, there is a spot right here where you can sit in a corner and cheese most of the fight. Next up is Fluke Marm with a ridiculously low amount of HP. Here you can just Cyclone Slash for some soul and then spam Abyss Shrieks. Here I didn't have enough soul so I took an intentional hit of damage to get more Abyss Shrieks. Now we have Broken Vessel who's really slow so with all the attacks you have plenty of time to dodge. Here, just get a lot of hits in with Grubberfly's Elegy and save a bit of soul for the final fight. Try to stay on the ground in this fight because Broken Vessel likes to randomly jump around and it's really easy to get hit. When Broken Vessel goes into this phase right here, just spam some Descending Darks like I do here and you'll have the boss dead in no time. Finally, we have Shio. Here, I always attempt for a Dream Nail, but I don't think it's actually possible without Dream Wielder. Try to stay a decent distance away from Shio so that he can't hit you, and with Grubberfly's Elegy, you should be able to maintain that distance while dealing consistent damage. An alternative method, as I do here, is just to spam Nail, and whenever you get hit, heal back up. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I notice every subscriber.